Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here with another installment of Tony's Take. This is pretty interesting. So I had just finished recording one Tony's Take that you probably saw right now, the Dead Rising one. And I caught this, I'm like, mm, I think I may want to talk about this. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about this on Throwdown, provided that Hip Hop Gamer lets us. All right, so basically, this is a report that came out from Kotaku talking about uh, GameStop's kind of bullshit new policy. Really fucked up policy, as a matter of fact. Uh, I mean, we all know GameStop has, you know, their whole thing is basically they'd rather sell you a used game than a new game because they get more money off of it, right? I, a lot of publishers don't like that because, you know, they don't make money off, you know, used game sales, right? GameStop does, right? So basically, um, this new program is called the Circle of Life, right? And I'm going to read this from the article itself. Um, so the, the program called Circle of Life gives each GameStop store different percentages quarters for pre-orders, reward card subscriptions, used game sales, and game trade-ins. Each of these quarters is based on the sales total transactions. Pre-orders and reward card subscriptions are based on the number of transactions, while used game sales and trade-ins are based on the total dollar value of transactions. If a store's quota for used game sales is 30% and the store sells $1,000 worth of merchandise, GameStop expects at least $300 of that merchandise to be pre-owned. So basically, this is the way they broke it down. If somebody walks into GameStop and picks up a brand new copy of Yakuza 0, which just came out a couple weeks ago, or was the last, whatever. Um, so if they buy Yakuza 0 without pre-ordering the game, subscribing for a new rewards card, or buying a new game, or trading in some games to help pay for it, then the transaction will knock down all four of these percentages. So basically, the more new games that an employee sells, the more used games they'll have to sell to make up for it. According to some of the salespeople that spoke to Kotaku and other places around the internet, GameStop is actually incentivizing their employees to stop people from buying new games and hardware. Think about that. Video game store pretty much not wanting people to buy new shit. What makes this thing worse is that apparently GameStop uh, staff say that the company has threatened people that don't meet these quotas. So yeah, <laughs> nuts. So I'm gonna read you a, a little bit of something one of the employees told Kotaku, again, under anonymity because they don't wanna get fired. Obviously, we are telling people we don't have new systems and stocks so we won't take a 300 or $400 hit on our pre-owned numbers. This is company-wide and in discussions with my peers, it is a common practice. We also tell customers we don't have copies of new games in stock when they are on sale. For example, Watch Dogs 2 is currently $29.99 new and $54.99 pre-owned. We just tell them we don't have the new one in stock and shuffle them out the door. <laughs> Fucking insane! So basically, the new version of the game is cost $30, but the pre-owned one is $55, man completely insane all right moving on so the, the article says that the circle of life program which began late last year but ramped up in early 2017 according to staff attaches a specific col score to each employee and each store each of the four categories represents 25 percent of that total col score so if a store hits their quotas for pre-orders and rewards cards but not for trade-ins and used games their col will be 50 percent if an employee hits all four of these quotas he'll get a col of 100 percent according to this article gamestop have told the the writer that corporate managers are monitoring both stores and individual employees asking everybody to get col score of at least 75 percent by hitting at least three of those four quarters. If a store is hitting their COL targets, but one salesperson is not, that salesperson may be subject to punishment and even lose their job. So yeah, that that that's how real this shit is right now, man. And then of course, you know, when Kotaku contacted GameStop about this, you know, they gave him this BS thing, you know, the corporate uh, spiel right here, which I'll read to you and it goes, all of GameStop's internal programs are designed to provide our customers the best value in all their video game purchases, including new and pre-owned merchandise. With any program, opportunities arise for improvement, and we will con continue to refine it to equip our knowledgeable store associates uh, to provide a great store experience. Not wank, 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 wank. <laughs> Come on, you know, the, the, you know. of course they're going to say this is all great for customers. It's really great for them. You know, the customers are... Cu Come on, think about it. Like... You can't go into a GameStop and buy a new game. They, they're gonna try to, you know, hawk some fucking new shit on you. You know, it, it's it's madness. All right, I want to read you another uh, quote from the employees. The employee quotes are like the most interesting thing out of all this because they really you know, like show how scummy this shit is. Right, the other day working the Resident Evil Seven slash Kingdom Hearts launch, we were telling walk-in 
slash non-reserve customers that we didn't have the games in stock or that they were only for pre-orders in order to not sell new copies of the game again these are brand new games launched games and they're telling them they're out All right the article says a second employee also said that they found themselves in trouble after selling a bunch of new games last tuesday during the launch of resident evil 7 kingdom hearts 2.0 and tales of berseria and the employee says now i'm fucked for the week now i have to sell way more pre-orders this week all right and the last part i want to read from you from the article is, um, this is a quote this has all been under the guise of doing quote unquote better for the customer and giving the customer what they want slash a better value which is definitely not true said a gamestop employee why would i get reserves if it's going to lead to a new sale why would i sell you a, a new game that you're excited about if it's going to hurt my numbers at the end of the day why would I sell you a new system if I'm going to be fired for doing so? It doesn't make any sense at all. <sighs> Here's the thing, right? The problem is that for the most part, they're probably going to get away with this because GameStop is the biggest uh, physical you know, seller of video games, right? But, you know, and not to be an advocate or anything, but I seriously encourage everybody to, you know, either go to Best Buy to get your games, right? Because they have a better... A program or go to Amazon go online and just get your games physical that way GameStop oh, here's the thing I, no it's weird because I know a lot of GameStop employees right and for the most part they're good people right I, I even know some of them by name when I go to my local store I don't go as much as I used to but when I used to go a lot I used to know my name right I don't have a problem with GameStop employees the problem seems to be with GameStop corporate right they're forcing these kind of crazy rules and stuff just to you know ensure that they sell more used games than new games because again they make more money off the used games right it's really fucked up there's really no other way around it and it, it's scumbag tactics and i wanted to do this video for you guys so you all know what the hell is going on and again i'm i'm just gonna be an advocate for it don't go to gamestop anymore don't buy your games from them this is fucked up bullshit don't support this nonsense all right so that's it for this video um make sure to hit like on it Please uh, comment on it. Please let me know what you think about this crazy ass tactic that these guys are doing and all that. So, and, and of course, you know, subscribe to the channel for more Tony's takes and throwdown episodes as always. All right. Once again, I was Tony and I'll see you next time. Later.